So guys, we're actually here in Kuala. And look at this. These are popo. Popo here. I just this is someone's little farm. We have lots of greens around here. Actually, we have uh, tomatoes here, small tomatoes that are growing up here, like this one here. In Swahili, we call them tindi. And uh, we also have some greens that actually people consume. These ones here, that's, uh, they're called mnavu. They're here in someone else's farm. And, uh, you know, sometimes people get these, you know, uh, the greens I've shown you there, and uh, cook. Uh, I mean, they cook, uh, they, they can either choose to cook them by either boiling them and uh, mixing, uh, they can even choose to mix it with uh, with tomato and uh, yeah and so many so many other things and that can be a really fantastic you know uh, uh, mboga you can, they're called mboga in Swahili vegetables in English that you can actually use um, you can use that to eat with ugali because if you don't know ugali is a kind of staple food here uh, in Kenya so Today is in today's vlog. Uh, today uh, it's on Saturday, and I was super super bored. Guys, check out this building here. It's really really incredible. I love the colors. It's a modern Swahili house, and uh, here we are. There's another building here with uh, this Swahili we call the Makuti in English. Uh, English touched, touched something 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 like that. I just forgot the name. And uh, I'm actually uh, around here, and uh, I just live somewhere there. Let me just show you the house. Uh, it's somewhere there. You see, there's another house with the color of uh, color of <laughs> what we call the color. Yellow, kind of yellow. Yeah, something like that. And uh, today, uh, I'm just going to be walking and showing you guys. Uh, the real village here uh, inside here in Kwale actually it's an area behind Cambry and I thought you know I'm so I took I thought I should show you guys around the situation inside you know the neighborhoods around here uh, actually in Kwale and how people live you know how people organize themselves guys there's another farm around here I can see Sukumawiki it's that side and uh, it's another an amazing, amazing meal, uh, vegetables that people prepare, and uh, yeah, eat it with ugali. And uh, we have other tomato. There's a small farm there, and uh, some also cassava. So guys, before I go further this side, let me show you something. Okay, that's what I'm saying. I'm staying. That's what I'm staying. The house you see there. That's where I'm staying, uh, and uh, this is my neighborhood. So I've decided to do a short vlog, just showing you guys the neighborhood around here and how people live, guys. And uh, there's this one here. Uh, in Swahili, uh, I know they call them salakushe. Actually, this is uh, this is another vegetable that people use. It's really, really sweet, and people actually pick that and use it. So, guys. Uh, so people just you know find a way uh, to survive you know uh, the other things are a bit little bit expensive like like flour right now in Kenya it's it's a little bit expensive but people are just surviving Salam alaikum. so people have to find a way you know uh, like here there's another farm here this is a farm uh, vegetables that I told you another one this one's here you see so people actually have to find a way to to survive, you know, in the villages to avoid, you know, spending so much cash uh, on other things, you know. If you can manage to get maybe 100, you know, to buy a packet of flour, you know. Uh, you can actually uh, use the rest of the money that you have to buy, uh, I mean, 
uh, to buy something else, you know, like uh, maybe soap, you know, to do some washing, some cleaning, you know, something like that. But uh, if you're going to spend all that money on something else, on then it's going to be really, really tough. And uh, that's why we see this kind of situation around here. People are actually planting here. There's another farm around here. And this is the neighborhood here. Jambo. Nakono mbeba shoka kubo wenda api. So guys, there's another... Uh, actually, there's another one here. Assalamu alaikum. Kwa uzo samaki hapa? Pisanga pinga hapa? Kwanza 50. Kwa hivyo jioni jioni ndo wako hapa ama wanapeliko kwa kwa hali? Lewa kuna? Ah, sawa, sawa. Ntapitia pitia. Uh, so guys, this is actually the neighborhood around here. So, let's just keep on walking down as I show you guys the area. So, the, actually, the woman I was talking to, I was asking her if there is actually fish. Because they usually sell fish. The, the fish, you know, from the ocean. I mean, some even can be from the lake, you know. They, uh, they take that fish, they prepare it nicely, and uh, they fry it. And at that, after frying it, and that they get to actually, you know, you, uh, eat that with the garlic. So guys, that's the situation. This is the neighborhood around here. There are so many, so many buildings around here. So I've chosen to walk around this area to actually explore a little bit and show you guys around how people live around this area. So let's go on further. Go further, guys. Some chickens around here. Yeah. And uh, yeah, let's keep on moving. Salam alaikum. Kuna njia uko? Ama uko? Iko? Ah, sa. So guys, this is maize. People use this maize. Iko na onyesha watu venye kwale kuko. Na kapo nyuma kemri hapo. So, na onyesha watu venye maisha uko venye yako. Watu wanaishi vipi. Uwa nafanya video za YouTube. Yeah. So guys, actually, this is maize, they dry it. So we have to cut it off and cut it off. Because it's not the rice, isn't it? So guys, they usually dry the maize. Ah, Sante. So they usually, the maize I've just shown you guys, they actually usually dry them and grind them. Because it's a little, uh, if you grind the maize, I mean, you take them to, to grind them, it's going to be a little bit easier you know i mean cheaper uh, instead of buying a fly you know you can just uh use them uh, maybe use the maize you know the maize that are coming from these little farms that you see around here you can just use that maize and uh, actually you know prepare uh prepare a fly from that uh, which is going to be a little bit cheaper uh than actually buying uh than actually buying you know than buying a packet of flour so that's how things are here. And uh, you see, we have other pop around here. We have this one here, banana trees. This banana, you see, that are actually growing here. Yeah, and uh, there's another farm here. So around in Kuala, guys, this is the situation here. This is the situation. People are trying, you know, trying so hard actually to, to minimize, you know, uh, because the economy is tough right now everyone is trying so hard to actually try to minimize the amount of money they spend on shops you know and uh to actually make it you know so, to live a life that they they can afford yeah so we have another farm here salam alaikum there's another farm here this this you see these are all vegetables and they use another farm here so guys this is it this is the life here in Kuala. People are trying, you know, trying actually to minimize the amount of money they spend. And uh, yeah, that's it. And that's why we have so many, many farms around here, you know. Uh, people are trying, you know, to actually do so something, I mean, to be able to manage the life, I mean, the expenses of the things they have to spend money on, you know. Yeah, so don't, don't be surprised. This is the situation around here. Uh, this is just a neighborhood behind uh, behind Cambry, and I did a video about this place some few uh, some few days. I mean, some few months ago. There's another farm guys here, and you can see further there. There's some maize. So I did a video about this place some few uh, some few 
some few days ago but uh, I was using my mobile phone and right now I thought I should do another Assalamu alaikum I should do another one and uh, that's why we are here so we keep on walking Assalamu alaikum so guys we are actually in the villages so this is how people live here around here so the village is still wide we have some other buildings that are going that side so i think we should go this side uh i've never been to this side so at least we go this side and uh show you guys around here yeah so this is a typical typical village the other video i did i went through that area but now let's just see the villages around this side yeah man and uh get to say hello to people around here as we make the vlog yeah so anyway this is the situation guys the situation around here there's another farm around here uh, so wow palm trees and the kids are playing around there okay so let's keep on moving. Assalamu alaikum. I'm Jambo. Ah natembea tembea huko ni jua ni jua mimi ni mgeni huko. Ndio hiyo ni wewe anafanya video za YouTube. Sasa wewe unaonyesha unaonyesha tu mitaa kama hiyo. Si mwajua YouTube. Ah sawa asante. So guys this is the village and um those are the Wow, there's a farm there. Assalamu alaikum. I'm Jambo. Okay, so the villager has actually surprised. Kuna njia kweli huko? Okay, sije nikapotea maana sikujui huko. Okay, so guys, actually the villagers are here. Uh, the women see behind they are planting each other. And uh, yeah. This is the situation around there. They were laughing, they were laughing at me uh, because I'm surprised by what I see, you know, I keep showing the farms and uh, so forth and so on guys this is actually another farm around here wow the buildings the uh, the banana trees you see typical modern houses around here built of mud yeah wow so the situation here assalamu alaikum assalamu alaikum so guys yeah the village around here Wow, wow, wow. Assalamu alaikum. Ah, natembea tembea huko kwenu nikujue leo. Ah, asante, asante. Eh, njisikie mvani? Mimi naoje ni mgeni huko ndo na tafuta tafuta kuangalia angalia kwa kaa vipi. Ah. Ah, asante, asante. Hapa ndo kwako hapa. Oh, yeah, sawa. So guys, uh, this is actually another house here. A mud house, traditional ones, but they have iron sheets instead. Yeah, so actually having the iron sheets to actually make it easier, you know, it doesn't it doesn't train inside you. Know? So and the other house there, they build uh, building them using mud, and these over here are all buildings inside this village. Yeah. So this is the situation around here, guys. So, you know, uh, if you're living in the city, things are very different, you know. Uh, you, the only thing you see in the city are the big buildings, you know. The big ones, you know, the tall, the skyscrapers, you know. Skyscrapers, creepers. Is it a skyscraper? No, I don't care. Anyway, this, this is the situation. Lots of palm trees, cassava. And uh, cassava here in Kuala, it does really, really well. And that's why you see, uh, you see cassava around here. Okay, let me show you the cassava. This is actually the cassava, this one here. Cassava and this kind of trees. Uh, this plant here, sweet potatoes are around here. So guys, this is the village. And uh, if I go this side, this side further, uh, we can see actually there's a depression there. Down there, we have lots, 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 lots of palm trees around there. And uh, I don't know if I'm going to someone's apartment or not. But I think I'll have to change the direction. There's no, there's no way around here. Wow, guys, you see palm trees around everywhere. Salam alaikum. Jambo jamba. 
Kuna njia huku? Ah. Uh, Wajua mimi ni mgeni huku natembea tembea kidogo ndio jojo maeneo huko. Ni uh, njia ipo. Uh, sawa sawa. So guys this uh there's a way around here so I'm not lost. So guys as you see and uh we have those actually who have little bit of money. You see the STV there they're actually fencing their house to actually, you know. Since uh they can do that but those who have no money you see the houses are just like this you know and the pile of wood you see there those are just firewood and uh yeah the situation around here man so bricks like this you see here most of the uh, build these bricks are actually for maybe from mombasa from yeah from mombasa because in Kuala they don't have this kind of bricks they don't have this kind of bricks yeah so guys this also, there's another village there. And uh, look at this house. This one is actually a modern Swahili house that you can come across around here. So guys, to be honest, I've been in Kuala, but I've never come across this place. So I've decided to come around here to just do this vlog, show you guys the lifestyle here of the villagers living around this place. And uh, you know, uh, see how the life is, is on the other side. Assalamu alaikum. Jambo. Ah, salama, salama. Natembea tembea huku mimi ni mgeni. Ah, sisi zipotea huku. Ah, Kwa hivyo kuna njia huko? Ndio huko. Na zashuko huko chini pia. Ah, sawa, asante. Ah. So guys, we can go around here. We we'll look at the place a little bit. Yeah. Salamu alaikum. Bibi jomba. Ah mimi natembea tembea huko tunaangalia angalia vikoko vipi maana mazingira mazuri sana. Ah uh, alafu anafanya fanya YouTube hivi. Ah uh, kwenye chat umitaa so je tuo market kabisa hii sehemu. Kidogo tupate watalii watalii hapa na pale. Ah uh, uh, so guys look at this place man. Wow, palm trees everywhere. And uh, right now I can see I'm coming to the end of the village. Yeah, actually this side there are not so many buildings. Actually there's this uh this uh, i think this is mining mining some kind of sorts there's a goat here hello goat goat so i'm going down this side actually so i'm going down the depression i'm done with the villages if i go this side further 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 and this is how the situation is right here i can see, see some people down there washing their clothes and uh it's because they actually have there's a stream of water down there i guess and uh, sometimes in Kuala they have problem you know water shortages and problem not all the buildings you have seen up there have water you know and that's why they come and push their clothes around this place so guys i don't know if we should go that side or i should go this side but i think uh, if i go this side further i won't come across these buildings yeah so Actually, the guy I was talking to back there, I was uh, telling him that I'm a YouTuber, you know, I'm trying to market the place, show people how life is around here. So guys, I think we should go this side. Uh, because uh, there's so much to see, uh, another part of Kuala. Okay, uh, let's go where the women are washing their clothes and uh, actually get to find we talk to them a little bit and hear their opinion about this place you know and uh, yeah why they're here wow oh, man so these are all farms around here yeah? and uh, there's a uh, an erosion this i think this is gully erosion around here because of if it rains all the water come down this side yeah so guys this is really really peaceful around here so Let's just try to, to go this side and check out this place. Yeah. Uh, but I can still go back up. Hopefully I've not lost. I'm not lost. I can go back up there and uh, get to the to the village. Assalamu alaikum. I'm Jambo. Ana tembea tembea huku si labda asijui kama ninapotea ma vipi. Kuna njia mbwa za kuntoa kuju? Hii hapa. Ah, Santa, Santa. So guys, I'm asking if there's actually a way to get me back up because it's like um, 
Salamu alaikum. Vipi jomba? Makaa au ama nini? Makaa. Oh. So guys, naweza onyesha onyesha watu hapo makaa na kutengenezwa vipi? Bwana eh, hadi anafanywa anafanya fanya video za YouTube naonyesha watu huko venye mambo yanaenda huko. Ah. Ah. So ndo yafungua sasa hii. Oh, so guys, this this is a charcoal actually. They take the firewood, they actually bury the firewood with some grass and uh, with some wood inside and they get firewood and this is how firewood and you can actually use this uh the charcoal i mean you can use as a charcoal so we are going to use it 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 Ah but sio ni fresh bro. Wewe ndio nyinyi ndio mwajua wa save save pesa sio? Ah. Ah mshaye nyinyi magumu sasa hii. Ah ah hivyo sawa. Ah asante bro. Ah bro. So actually the actually the guy I was talking to there is actually making firewood. So the firewood uh, I mean the charcoal. I mean the firewood they bury the firewood inside and they put some grass and they light it and uh, they you know uh, with the little air going inside the firewood it's not going to burn completely and uh, that is going to make charcoal and actually that charcoal is what they use you know uh, they use for cooking you know other people prefer using firewood while other prefer using charcoal because it, it's smokeless i mean it doesn't produce much smoke it's more uh, compared to firewood and that is why people do that and the guy you saw behind there I was talking to, I was asking him about why he's doing such a thing and uh, actually he told me he's trying to save some money. So guys, there's a steep hill here. I've been trying to climb up here. Uh, actually, I was doing that to save some money. Yeah, so i been telling you guys, damn. Oh, baby bro, uh, the situation around here, life is really hard. Yeah, the economy is getting tougher and people have to find a way guys i'm from there it was there was a depression and i went down there and now i'm actually getting out of there so as i'm telling you guys life is hard and the people have to find means have to find ways to survive you know and that is why what people are doing and as you have seen here in uh, the things I've shown you, the buildings that are around here, and yeah, that is it. So right now, let's get to this side. We we'll try to get to the to the main road and see what we're going to come across around here. Oh baby bro, so yeah man, the building here man. Wow, wow, wow. there's a music in front of me so let's pause so guys actually behind me uh behind there there was a loud music because there was a wedding going on so i had to pause with the music with the copyright issues guys the village here guys so with the music copyright issues yeah we don't want that we want in future to monetize all our videos in this youtube channel if we're going to make enough money to travel around the world yeah, Mambo. Oh. So guys, this is the village here. This is actually a mat and actually people use this. They sleep on this as a bed, you know. If you're sleeping on a huge mattress, you know. Yeah, you should be grateful for that, you know. People sleep on those mats you have just shown in there. And uh, yeah, and they survive and they live their life. Yeah. So finally, we're actually on the main road. And I guess this road will take me back to the main road, Tamak Road. But for now, I guess we should go back this side. Uh, because there are so many buildings around here. Uh, I guess we can see we can see what is going on around, uh, around this place. Yeah, so guys, the buildings, this type, you know, mud house and so forth. So, for now, let's keep on heading this side and I'll get to Cambry. Let's show you guys around. Habari habari. Na anafanya video za YouTube hapa. Naonyesha watu venye kwale kuko yani. Ah. Na anatokea Mombasa. Ah. 
Ah, uh, so, so. <laughs> so, guys, I was telling the guy that I was doing some. I'm doing some videos here on YouTube. Uh, you know, some people get to be surprised, you know, by what you do. So there's another house here, yellow one. So, some building uh, people are uh, still building here, trying to come up with uh, with ways uh, to construct. You know, yeah. Wow, man, the situation around here. Okay, so let's keep moving. Now, actually, we are actually somewhere here uh, where there's lots of lots of people. I mean, wow, you see, this is a house actually. Somebody's house, kind of like a shop. And uh, there's an M-Pesa here. So actually, there's lots of things going on around here. So let's keep on moving. Uh, we we'll head back to the Cambridge. Head back to Cambridge. Oh, baby. So let's keep on moving. Wow, wow, wow. Oh, baby. So guys, we are actually in the village here, a village of Kuala. Around here, village of Kuala and the situation around here, people are surviving. Baby, ah, who's the kid, bro? Now, put your videos on YouTube, bro. YouTube. So, you know, people are actually are surprised. You know, they're asking what I'm, what I'm doing, and they're asking what this, uh, this thing is. Because they don't know. So telling them on my YouTube the situation around here man. Oh uh, so guys you see the buildings around there. Wow. So look. So the situation man. Wow, this is the live man here. Live here in Kuala. People are trying everything to see. Salam alaikum. Uh people are trying to survive here. We have a small shop there, the one that you just saw behind me there. People are actually trying to survive, you know, something of sort. Yeah, so the life, man, this life. And, uh, you know, you should be grateful. You should be grateful for what you have, you know, if you're, you're actually be able to afford a meal, you know, you're able to, baby, yeah, if you're able to afford the meal of the day, you know, you should be grateful. People are really struggling out here. Oh, baby, do go. So another house, yeah. It's another house, a mud house, a traditional house. On this side we have the permanent, you know, the modern Swahili house around here. So I'm telling you guys, if you are able actually, to, you know, you can survive, you know, where you are, you know, don't think so much about your problems, you know, don't think, you know, man, how is it going to be? You know, I'm not going to make it, you know. Uh, you keep on complaining about the small gifts about the small things you have, you know. People out here, people out here are having it hard, man, in the villages, and people are so happy around here. You know, whenever you meet, come across, uh, you come across these people, they actually, you know, they actually greet you with a smile, you know, they're happy, they're happy, you know, because they're contented with that, with what they have, and uh, that is what you should also do. So I try to show, I try to do this vlog to show you the, you know, the struggles around here, how life is and how people are surviving around here so that you actually, you get to appreciate what you have. Yeah, so this is it guys, this is it. And uh, what I can say is that uh, if you, you like this kind of content, you know, traveling to places, showing you guys around different and uh, what is going on around different places in the villages, in the city, you know, uh, don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel. Hit the like button, share the videos to the people who, you know, are going to be interested to watch this kind of content. So guys, for now, I think I have no much to say, but uh, rather than say goodbye to you guys. And uh, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for being, for supporting me through this amazing journey as I travel around places, showing you guys uh, the other side of life, because that's the main mission of this channel. And uh, for now... Thank you so much and I'll see you guys in my next one. Peace.